Hey guys, today's video is a whole house clean with me and I'll be sharing my weekly cleaning routine for the summer. I'm going to be breaking down all of my cleaning tasks by days of the week and show you how I tackle all of my cleaning in about three days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, get your to-do list ready, and let's get to cleaning. First off, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm Amy Darley, a stay-at-home mom of two from the Savannah, Georgia area, and I post new videos weekly. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know you. So with the kids being home during the summer, I have switched up my cleaning routine. I'm doing the bulk of my cleaning in about three days. Now just remember, I'm not perfect, so all of these tasks don't necessarily get done every single week on the day that I have them planned out for, but this is a routine that I have planned for myself to kind of keep myself on task. So on Monday mornings, we start with the bedding. I'm doing my bedding today, and then next week I will do the kids' bedding. I try to alternate weeks because that's what works for me, but I know a lot of you do your bedding every single week, and that's awesome. And here I just wanted to show a quick little clip of my kids making their own beds. They do have their chore charts. I talked all about their summer chore charts in last week's video. And also I talked about our summer schedule, kind of what our mornings look like and what we try to get done each day. So if you want to go check out that video, I will leave it linked down in my description box. Um, but it's just the last video that I posted before this one. So Gracie June's in here making up her bed and then Kaysen's making up his bed. Um, this is just one of the things that we start with in the mornings is their chores. So they're doing this while I'm getting some of my cleaning done as well. Another thing that I try to do on Monday mornings is get any clutter put away from the weekend. So here I'm unpacking our suitcase and just getting all of that stuff put where it belongs. Now, since we're here in the bedroom and I haven't talked about our mattress since we got it, I wanted to give you guys all the details. I got this new mattress back in March. This is the old mattress that was on our bed, and as you can see, it was way too long for our bed frame. So we got a new mattress from Birch Living, and it fits our bed perfectly. I chose to get the Birch Lux Natural Mattress, and we have been loving it. The bed isn't too hard or too soft, and we've slept great since having this mattress. Birch Living is a company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their mattresses are non-toxic and are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. I love that Birch Living offers a 100-night sleep trial. They also have a 25-year warranty and they ship all of their items straight to your door for free. It comes vacuum sealed so you just pull it out of the box and the packaging and it will inflate itself. I love the fact that the Birch mattresses are made with organic and natural materials. Unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses make it hypoallergenic. And as the weather gets warmer this summer, the breathability of the natural materials keep me cool and comfortable while I sleep. In addition to being the best mattresses around, Birch is committed to being better for the planet as well. 
So my mattress is not releasing any dangerous emissions into the air as it is guaranteed free of harmful chemicals. And because this mattress is produced with raw materials, it's also great for the environment. If you want to check out Birch Living, I have a link in my description box that gets you $400 off your Birch mattress plus two free pillows. So be sure to check out that link in my description box. I'll leave it in the comments as well. And thank you to Birch Living for partnering with me on today's video. Now it is a little bit later in the day and I'm finally getting my clean bedding put back on the bed. Yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. I can be a fighter. Another thing that I try to get done on Mondays is plan our meals for the week and order our groceries for the week from Walmart Pickup so I can go pick them up on Tuesday mornings. Okay, it is now Tuesday. I'm starting by making my bed and I figured I would show you guys that since you didn't get to see me fully make the bed the night before. And then I'm gonna get started on some laundry. Now, I typically do some sort of laundry almost every single day of the week, but Mondays are dedicated to bedding and then Tuesdays are dedicated to our clothes. The kids also have hampers in their bedrooms, so on Tuesdays they bring down their hampers whether they're full or not, and I will include that for the laundry for the day. You got two minutes of my time. The next thing that I plan to do on Tuesdays are all three bathrooms. We have the master bathroom. This is our guest bathroom right here that's downstairs is where all of our guests use the bathroom. And then we also have the kids bathroom upstairs. Now bathrooms are my least favorite thing to clean. So I try to tackle this early in the week so I don't keep putting it off. Y'all will have to let me know what are your least favorite cleaning tasks. Maybe this will help putting it earlier in the week and getting it done versus putting it off to the end of the week. But honestly, I don't mind cleaning the toilets, but I hate cleaning the showers and the tubs. However, I'm about to use this little Hommet scrubber shower tool that I got a while back. I've been using it for, you know, I don't know, maybe six months now. Um, but this thing is awesome for bathtubs and showers. It makes it easier to scrub the bottom and the corners without hurting my back which, you know, you, you guys, we're getting old when we get excited about cleaning products and tools, especially when we talk about our backs hurting. <laughs> um, but by the way, any of the cleaning products and tools that I show or mention in today's video will be linked in my description box, so that way you can easily find them if you're looking for any of those products. But I'm just going through and I'm going to clean the shower. I don't clean the guest shower every week. It rarely ever gets used. So honestly, I will either clean it right before we have guests that are coming to stay with us for the weekend. And if we don't have any coming that month, then I will just clean it once a month. So I'm going to go through our whole bathroom cleaning routine. And here I do the exact same thing in the master bathroom and also in the kids bathroom upstairs. And I'm going to take you cleaning in the master bathroom, but I did not film in the kids' bathroom today. But just know, it's all the same routine. Um, I use all the same products in all three bathrooms. Break too easily, but I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break it. You're falling into me, touch me. 
All right, so recently I started using the Sprayway Glass Cleaner on all my windows and mirrors, and this stuff is amazing. You can see here, like, first of all, it's satisfying to watch, watch it get wiped off, but I love how streak-free the mirror ends up being, and I also love the way this stuff smells. I also have been using the Sprayway All-Purpose Cleaner recently. It is a little bit stronger of a smell, but it cleans and disinfects and works really, really great. I love that it's also a foam cleaner so you can see exactly where you're wiping everything off and see how clean everything gets. Watch me break in and You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make a sweat of me. I wanna make a sweat of me. For the outside of my toilets, I'm using a piece of toilet paper just to wipe it down and dust, get any of the dust off first. And then I wipe it down with a Clorox wipe. And then for the inside of the toilet bowl, I'm using the Clorox toilet bowl wand. Okay, these soft scrub duo cubes are actually a new product and I used one. You can see I already used one in my master bathroom. I put it in there like a week ago and I love the way it smells. Basically, you just stick one of the cubes in the back of your toilet tank and then you let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you flush your toilet after it's been sitting in there for about 10 minutes. You flush and then it does turn your water blue, which I think is kind of cool, <laughs> but Basically, it's cleaning your toilets and um, it's sanitizing and deodorizing. And each cube lasts up to four weeks. And I know there's so many different products that do the same thing, but I just got those because they're new and I love the soft scrub products. Now for the bathroom floors, I use the Swiffer wet cloths once a week and they smell so good. And then I'll actually use the Oceder Spin Mop at least once a month in the bathrooms, but I should probably use the Spin Mop a little more often, honestly. All right, I'm heading into my bathroom. You can see our tub was so dirty. Gracie June actually is the only one that ever takes baths in here, which I've talked about this before, but we really want to get rid of this bathtub. Um, we'd never take baths except for Gracie June, but it was so dirty because we had been at a baseball tournament. And so after we got home, she decided she wanted a bath that night and her feet were so gross. She was just so gross from running around on the playground literally all day long. And so usually I will spray the tub out after she lets the water out, but I forgot to. So you can see all the dirt that came off of her that day. Um, it's just sitting in the bathtub. So I'm going to clean that out in just a minute. But here in my bathroom, I'm just going to show you a few bits and pieces of the cleaning that I did in here today. Just know I followed the same routine in, that I did in the first bathroom. I just didn't want to make you guys watch me do the same thing over and over. So I'm going to show you bits and pieces of the cleaning in here. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes 
We were conversing under the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy All right, we are moving on to folding some laundry and usually when I'm folding laundry, especially if I have a lot to fold, I will sit down and watch a show. And today I'm watching Selling Sunset. So many people have been telling me about this show and I've never watched it before. So I think there's like five seasons already on Netflix. So that's what I started recently. I'm only on like episode three, but so far I'm getting into it and I don't know why I've never watched it before, but it's a fun show. Now it's probably going to take me a while to get through this show, but if you guys have any shows that you've watched recently that you're loving or even movies, let me know so that way when I eventually finish this show, I can watch something that you guys suggest. I'll put it on my list. Okay, I'm moving on to cleaning the kitchen, and this is more of a daily cleaning task, sometimes twice a day cleaning task because our kitchen gets so messy so quick. But I was getting ready to go pick up our groceries on this day, so I wanted to go ahead and clean the kitchen before bringing our groceries home. Um, another thing is our refrigerator was not bad on this day. We didn't have any leftovers or anything in the fridge, but usually I clean out any leftovers bad foods, um, spills, things like that in the fridge before I pick up our groceries as well. So I'm starting with putting everything where it belongs, getting all the things that don't belong in the kitchen put away, and then I'm gonna unload the dishes, which Kaysen's gonna actually help me do that. It's one of their chores is to either load or unload the dishes. Now typically, I don't have them do this on camera when I am filming. I will just film myself doing these tasks, but since he was helping me out this day, I went ahead and he was fine, you know, being on camera. So he is helping me by putting the silverware away, and then I'm also like handing him stuff as I'm taking all of this stuff out of the dishwasher. I'm just handing it to him and he's putting it away for me. So I asked over on Instagram, but I wanted to ask you guys here too for suggestions. Um, I am planning out the rest of the summer, trying to plan out my videos, but I wanna make sure that I am making videos and including things in those videos that you guys really want to see. So if you guys have any suggestions of things that you would like to see more of, like recipes, hauls, product reviews, deep cleaning, or anything else, please let me know in the comments so I can plan to add those in my upcoming videos. I love sharing all kinds of things, especially if it's helpful. And also, thank you for always being so willing to give me your feedback and for being so supportive of my YouTube channel. Everything's all right.
Okay, we've got all the dishes put away, dishes washed that needed to be washed, put in the dishwasher, and then we headed out, got our groceries, got back home, and it's time to unload these really groceries. In case you want to see what I got, um, we've got some nacho cheddar popcorn seasoning because I love this stuff, some chocolate chip muffins, some frozen pancakes. These are the great value brand. We usually get a different brand. I can't remember what it is, but they were out, so we're going to try these. Some eggs, Reese's Take Five, pretty much in every single grocery haul, as well as Cosmic Brownies. My kids love these. Um, and then we've got some provolone. I love to eat provolone and turkey sandwiches, so I got some more of that. Some shredded cheddar, and I actually got this for a few different things. So the first thing that I'm doing with this is a jalapeno popper dip. So you use shredded cheddar, you use a block of cream cheese, some diced jalapeno pop or peppers, some ranch seasoning, and then I already have bacon in the fridge, so I will cook the bacon, crumble it up, I will mix these ingredients together with the bacon and then put some sliced jalapenos, which are in our fridge already too, put the sliced jalapenos on top and that's your little dip. And you can use, um, we have some Tostito scoops for this, but we also got some of these Ritz crackers that you can also use for that little jalapeno popper dip. Um, but I also got these because Crazy June just likes to eat these as a snack. So. That's the first thing I got this shredded cheddar for. Also, we're doing baked spaghetti this week. This is a staple meal in our house. It's one of the easiest dinners to make. I just get some ground beef, some protein plus thin spaghetti. My kids prefer the thin spaghetti than regular. So I got that and then some Prego. Um, you can use whatever pasta sauce you want, but basically I cook my meat, cook my pasta, um, throw these together with Prego sauce, heat it up, then put it in a 13 by nine dish and throw some shredded cheddar on top and bake it for about 20 minutes. And you got some yummy baked spaghetti. And then I always share these, these Coles mozzarella cheese filled breadsticks are what we eat with pretty much every single Italian dish that we make. I also got some more boiled peanuts. We love these. Um, some Pringles, the sour cream and onion kind, some pretzels, I already showed you the crackers. We've got some barbecue sauce, and then I'm also making a French onion chicken in the crock pot. So I've already got the chicken and the other ingredients for it, so we'll make this in the crock pot this week. And then I got some coffee. I need to go to Costco and get the huge thing of coffee pods, but since I was picking up an order and we're almost out, I went ahead and got some more of this. We love this. We used to get it all the time before we had a Costco membership. So got those, some bread, and then some ibuprofen, some children's ibuprofen. So that's all I got. I'm gonna go put this up really quick. All right, so here is our meal plan for the week. And I actually start with Tuesday all the way through Monday because I pick up groceries on Tuesday. Try to, so I try to make sure I have whatever we need all the way through Monday. So Tuesday, we're gonna have baked spaghetti. Wednesday is leftovers. Thursday, I'm doing crock pot French onion chicken over rice. Um, Friday is Mexican, and then Saturday we're going to go out to eat. Sunday we have grilled backstrap and veggies. This is all stuff that we already had, so we're going to make that. And then I put down freezer funds for Monday because we actually have a whole bunch of stuff in the freezer that we could cook. We have frozen vegetables, we have um, pot stickers, we have chicken bake stuff, we have leftover meals that are frozen that we can just pull out on Monday. So we're gonna just see what we're feeling on Monday and we're gonna pull something out the freezer and that's what we're gonna cook. So that is our meal plan for the week. I got all of our food put away and now I'm just gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen. We did cook here in the kitchen this morning, but honestly, the stove top didn't get too messy. So I'm just using an e-cloth and I just wet it with hot water and I'm just gonna wipe it down really quick. Now, if it's super messy, which typically happens after I cook dinner, then I will spray it down with a degreaser and use a wet sponge and clean it that way. And now I'm just using a multi-surface spray to just clean down the countertops. Strangers. 
For the wood countertops, I'm using the Method Wood Cleaner. This stuff is awesome. I've been using it since I started my YouTube channel over four years ago, and I have not switched it up because I haven't found anything better. I love this stuff. It smells good and keeps my wood countertops looking nice and shiny. Now for the stainless steel, I'm using the Sprayway Stainless Steel Cleaner. I just started using this stuff recently. I love it. I love the fact that you can like see where you spray it on and you kind of have to buff it out, but it leaves the um, stainless steel looking super shiny and clean and I feel like it keeps it clean a little bit longer. Now, if you're looking for a more natural cleaning product, the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner is a great cleaner for your stainless steel appliances, actually your entire kitchen. So I definitely recommend those cleaning products as well. And if you didn't know, we actually have three kittens. This is Riley. She's over here napping in the kitchen area, but I didn't want to spray her down with products. So I'm putting her over here. We've got Riley, Freddie, and Ozzy. We got our kittens back in like October. And our cats are actually outdoor cats. They do come in to snuggle and obviously nap a little bit. We love having them inside when we do, but they are a majority outside cats. And so I've gotten a lot of questions about litter boxes and stuff since I've had the cats, but we started out with a litter box in our garage and we have a door, like a cat door from one of our doors in the garage to go outside so they can go in and out of the garage easily. Um, but we started out with a litter box in our garage and we slowly got rid of it because they were using the bathroom in the yard. So we have no litter box. They go to the bathroom outside. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that we have outdoor cats, but that is how it is for us. And we love it. We keep them up to date on all their shots, flea and tick medicine and all of that. But those are our kittens. All right, so this is our spaghetti that I talked about. We cooked for dinner. I kept a little section without cheese because Kaysen doesn't like the cheese. So that was our dinner. I just wanted to show you really quick. And now we're moving on to Thursday. So really this day of cleaning, I will do any day, Wednesday through Friday. It just depends on what we have going on for the week. So on this week, we had a busy day on Wednesday. So I got all of this cleaning done on Thursday. So for cleaning, I will be doing all the dusting in the three bedrooms and the playroom, and then I'm gonna do the floors. Here in my bedroom, you're gonna see I'm using a duster, and then I use a multi-surface spray to wipe down the furniture. When I get up to the kids' room, though, I was running out of time, so I didn't use any spray. I only dusted with the duster. I'm also gonna use the Sprayway glass cleaner on the mirrors. This stuff is amazing. You saw me use it earlier in the bathrooms, but this is, by far one of my favorite cleaning products for mirrors and um, windows now. So I know I'm gonna get questions about vacuuming because I did not show any vacuuming downstairs in this video, but we have a robot vacuum that is set on a schedule and it starts vacuuming the entire downstairs every single morning at 1030. It also self empties, so it takes care of the vacuuming for me. I do use a cordless vacuum for quick cleanups, and then I also have my Shark Up Light corded vacuum that I will vacuum the rugs with once a week, and I also vacuum upstairs on the carpet up there once a week, which you'll see me do that a little later in the video. And here on my hardwood floors, I'm using the Tenco iFloor 2. It's a vacuum and mop combo, so it's vacuuming and mopping at the same time, which is awesome. It cuts in cut your vacuum and mopping time in half. I've had this vacuum for several months and it's seriously made cleaning the hardwood floor so much easier. They do have a version of this, a newer version of this vacuum, but this one works great and is on sale right now for $138 at Walmart, which is a steal. You don't use this one on your carpets or your rugs because it is mopping as you're vacuuming, so it would get your carpets wet. But I highly recommend this if you have lots of wood, laminate, or vinyl floors, or if you just want an easy way to mop. There, um, this is another product that also helps with the lower back pain. So if you get that lower back pain when you're mopping with a standard mop, then you definitely need this, this vacuum mop combo. Also, I have an Oceder spin mop that I use. Um, I just don't use it as often since I've gotten this Tenko, but it's amazing too. It's a great mop system. I use it occasionally because I, feel like it does do a little bit better of a cleaning, 
but also because it gets my baseboards really good. Also, in last week's video, I share exactly how I clean this vacuum after I've used it to make sure that it doesn't have a funky smell. Several of you have left comments saying that you have this vacuum and you can't stand the smell but I've never had any issues and I do clean it pretty much every single time that I use this vacuum I will go and clean it out so if you want to see how I did that make sure to go check out last week's video feeling when you tore down my walls I wish I could go back to right before you told me I try to change it all but look at us now I could have gone so far Hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. Okay, I have headed upstairs and as you can see the kids have already made their beds for the day. I also had them clean their rooms. That's one of their chores that's on their chore chart. And they don't really have a whole lot of toys in their rooms, so it's not too hard for them to do. Um, but they do at least clean their rooms once a week. Gracie June sometimes will come in here with her friends and bring some of the toys from the playroom in here. So she definitely had some of those in there this morning. She cleaned it out and now I'm just doing the dusting and cleaning in here. Um, and then I'll head into Kaysen's room and then I will head into the playroom. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again Tried much harder, all we have are scars. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. All right, so this is our playroom. First, I'm just getting all of these blankets and just stuffing them here in these bean bags. We keep a lot of stuffed animals and blankets in those bean bags, which is nice for storage. But the kids have already been up here and pretty much cleaned up. Um, mainly Gracie June. Kaysen put all of his like video game stuff away and then I guess they missed a few things because I did have to pick up a few things but I'm just dusting in here really quick and then I'm gonna vacuum. Stars. Look at us now. So this is the Shark Uplight vacuum that I was telling you guys I have. Um, I was talking about it earlier and I've pretty much talked about it for years now. Um, I love this vacuum so, so much. It's super lightweight. Um, it was super inexpensive when it was in stock, but now we can never find it in stock. So I told you guys a few months ago, I've been looking for another vacuum to try out and actually Walmart reached out to me and they have a new vacuum that they wanted me to try out and test and share with you guys. So I just got it in. It literally came in the mail yesterday and it has the self-cleaning brush roll. So, you know, like when the hair gets tangled up around your brush roll of your vacuum, it's super annoying and it messes up how good your vacuum works. Well, that's one of the best things about this Shark Uplight is that it cleans the brush roll itself. So I've never had any hair wrap around it, never had any issues with that. And I think that that's another reason it works so good. But anyway, so... That's one of the features on this new vacuum that Walmart has me trying out. So I'm going to test it out this week. If I like it, then I'm going to share it with you guys because it's also a really good price. And the canister, the little dust canister thing is a little bit bigger than the one on the Shark Uplight. So if it's a good vacuum, then it's going to be a win, win, win for everyone because it will be in stock. It's new. It's only at Walmart, so that's the only thing, is if you don't shop at Walmart, then you won't be able to get it. But I know that Walmart usually has the best prices, so I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that this is going to be a great vacuum, and I'll be able to share it with you guys next week. Again, again, again. 
All right, you guys, so that is my cleaning routine for cleaning the whole house in about three days. The only rooms that I did not clean today were the office, the laundry room, and the dining room, and that is because I typically clean there every other week, which would get done on the same days that I'm dusting and cleaning the bedrooms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Head up again. You said that you had to. I'll try to forget you. Just didn't think we'd end up this way like strangers.